Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here and welcome to a video on the FIFA 14 National Championships that were held at the EB Games Expo last week. And of course, guys, to uh, pretty much fill you guys in, what happened was there were competitions at Hoyt Cinemas all around Australia a while ago and uh, they got the best players from pretty much every single state in Australia. They sent them over to the EB Games Expo, so the top guys all over the world. That includes the guys that I played previously, like Scory, Muzza, and Humpty. So all those guys got through. There were a couple of wild cards, and one person from the EB Games Expo was actually going to make it to the finals. Whoever won this 64-man competition, which you know who, yep, I entered, and hopefully was trying to get my seat, my ticket to the finals. So let's see how I go. So for the first game, I pretty much got Chris Bowden to follow me around and to film me for my entire progress throughout the tournament. Now, of course, I really wanted to win and I really wanted to get through the finals. So, of course, I was going to use the best team possible, which, in my honest opinion, at the time, was Real Madrid. So that's exactly who I was going to go with until my first opponent picked Sydney FC. And then, and I've been told this, it's a bit of a problem of mine, I'm too nice. So I decided, hey, let's make a level playing field, and I picked my team, my A-leg team, Adelaide United. So I was actually genuinely worried. What happens if I get knocked out in the first round? That would be pretty embarrassing, and I really wouldn't want that to happen. But still, I was Adelaide United, he was Sydney FC, and hopefully I'd be able to notch up a win. So let's do it. So we started the game, and yes, sadly, this is going to be the best image quality that we are going to be able to get for the first game. We were backs against the sun. We didn't actually, we weren't able to capture the actual footage with a capture card, so this is the best that we were going to get, sadly. So um, hopefully it's going to have to do, but Newman to Jete, and then into Caruso, who had a shot with some space, and immediately from kickoff, Adelaide United and the Master Bucks scores a goal early on, and uh, thank God, a monkey off my back, playing with a team I'm probably not comfortable with, Able to get a goal early on, it was massive. You might want to come around. I said to Chris Bowden, who was behind the camera, because I sensed a goal coming. He got in my way, blocked my vision, but it doesn't matter because I did a roulette around his man and some brilliant expert filmography, whatever, from Chris Bowden there at EA underscore Bowden. But Newman put in the second goal in the 28th minute. Mad celebrations. Got past his man way too easily. And as we see on the replay, a finesse shot, which somehow the keeper didn't stop. Suck out a leg. And yeah, we were 2-0 up after just 30 minutes. Beautiful stuff. So far, the game was going in my favor. I had the ball yet again. Jete into Newman. And then another through ball into Jete. An hour into the game with space. Turned his body around and finessed it into the net. And that was a third goal in an hour. And I'm just like, yep. I was worried when I picked Adelaide United, but nope, it's okay. I've got this game in the bag, you little beauty. And that was how it ended. I won my first game, the round of 64, 3-0, you little beauty. Moving on to the round of 32, and hopefully the result in the second game would be the same. Moving on to my second game, and my second opponent was actually going to use a real team. He was going to use Real Madrid, the exact same team I was going to use. So why the hell not? I can finally pull it out. The Ronaldo package, let's do it. So as you can see in the top left hand corner, we are 50 minutes into this game, not an awful lot was happening, Chris Bowden zooms out for some weird reason, I've got Benzema on the wing, crossing in a Di Maria, it's normally the other way around, but Di Maria with a hell of a bicycle kick, a scissor kick, I high five the camera, give me some love guys, that's a beautiful goal in the 53rd minute, not a lot of action happening in that first half, but I score in the 53rd. And for the sake of the goal being the goal that it is, let's get a replay of it, oh that is beautiful, sexy stuff. A throw in in my attacking third. Ronaldo, the one that takes it and throws it right to Pepe, which is brilliant. But oh no, what has he done? He's crossed it and given it right to Ozil. I gave it right to him. He gave it right back to me and gave it to me in an attacking position for me to finesse it. And I actually felt a little bit bad. I just, I actually apologize to him. I'm like, I'm sorry. I feel bad for putting that goal in. And that's my problem. I'm too nice for competitive, for competitive bloody sport. But oh well, I went 2-0 up and things were looking good in the 70th minute. And now for one of the first real times in the game, my opponent was having an attack. Uzo going through, but Ramos with a tackle. Passes it, goes to clear from the keeper, Lopez. He's given it right to a Real Madrid player on the other team, Ozil. And he's put it into an empty net. What are you doing, Lopez? He's gone to clear the ball and got absolutely nothing underneath it. As we don't get a replay, I just skipped it. I was so... I must have been so annoyed with myself, or, oh, I don't know, what is Diego Lopez doing? He's cost me the breathing space, and now I'm under a bit of pressure. Angel Di Maria on the ball for my opponent's Real Madrid. He lobs it through with a lob through ball into Ronaldo, running down the wings in 90th minute, stoppage time. Whips it into Isco, who heads it in the back of the net. And in 20 minutes of the game, I was 2-0 up. I've now gone from 2-0 up to 2-2 down. Diego Lopez, I try to whack it away, but he couldn't get any air underneath the ball, and he's failed to save this corner or this cross. 
and uh, it just had to happen. It was already written, it, all, it would almost seem. But yes, it is 2-2 in the 90th minute. It stayed that way. It was going straight to penalties. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even going to bother showing you the penalty shootout. Not penalty shot for penalty shot. I'm just going to tell you the result straight away. Ladies and gentlemen, I lost. I have been knocked out of the National FIFA 14 Championships, the wildcard entries at the EB Games Expo, in my second game because Diego Lopez couldn't clear the damn ball and because of the crossing and the headers, you just can't stop them. So there you go. I went straight to penalties, and when it goes to penalties, anything goes, and it just wasn't wasn't going to go for me. So there you go. Knocked out already. And this, ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of showing it, was actually the final of the FIFA 14 National Championship wildcard entry at the EB Games Expo. These two guys made it out of the 64 that joined in the competition, and um, yeah, they were really good players. I was watching them, and I knew that they knew what they were doing. And uh, the guy that won with PSG wiped the floor with his opponent. He actually just got so many goals. He beat him by so much. It was ridiculous. He was a good, good player, and he made it all the way through to the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage of the quarterfinals. We did actually stream it, and um, yeah, all I've got is stuff from the finals. But guys, the finals themselves were epic. that absolutely bitchin' stage, look at the packs, look at all the seats, I mean just imagine it, I mean you know eSports, League of Legends, you've got 10,000 something screaming nerds just going crazy, imagine that for FIFA, we can do it, it's possible, let's make it happen, but um, yeah still, this was an unbelievable stage to be playing out the finals, it's a real shame I wasn't able to make it there, but still, this was going to be an epic contest. So totally unbiased, the semi-finals were picked out at random, and the first semi-final was going to be played against Matt Williams and Scurry, which meant in the semi-finals, the second semi-finals, the two favourites, the Messi and the Ronaldo, were going against each other. Adam Carmen, Humpty versus Muzza. So it was Scurry versus Matt Williams. Scurry, the one in the yellow and the blue, and of course, Matt Williams in the blue and the white. And with a cross, Scurry early on, 13th minute, and it's Ramirez who pokes it in to the back of the net, a bit of a fist pump, and that's it. So uh, he got the first goal early on in the 13th minute. And of course, for the sake of time, he just whacked it away, Scurry, and that's it. In the 90th minute, the game was over. He won it 1-0, a low-scoring game, a low-scoring affair, but that Ramirez goal in the 13th minute did it for him. Sent Scurry, got his ticket to the final, but who would he be playing, Muzza or Adam Carmen? I've already given it away, but whatever. So this was it, the second and last semi-final, obviously, against Muzza and Humpty. Messi versus Ronaldo, the two outright supposed best FIFA players in Australia. This was going to be an epic contest. Who was going to go through? So toward the end of the first half, literally in the 45th minute, it was Humpty who had a corner in the white of Germany and Muzza in the green of Germany. They were both playing Germany and that header from the corner, brilliantly done by Closer, too easy, left all the space in the world. It's a fantastic cross in and Adam Carmen Humpty got the advantage going in a half time. Brilliant stuff. And yet again, it's the exact same scenario. That was it. Just the one goal in the game. The header from closer. A brilliant corner in. And that was it. Adam Carmen Humpty was the one going through to the final to be facing Scorey. And this was going to be an epic contest. They were still using the same teams they used in their semi-finals. It was, of course, Adam Carmen Humpty using Germany and uh, Scorey using Brazil. And look, a beautiful little movement from closer. Had all the space in the world and just powers it through. Fists up in the air. Humpty gets the advantage early on in the 19th minute. And there's like a Mexican wave or something from the people in the front stands. It's fantastic. The atmosphere is intense. Still, a little bit later on in that half, around the 40th minute mark, a lob through ball in a Paulinho. Schmelzer messed it up. Didn't make the tackle. Paulinho with a cross. Holt goes in in the middle. Climbs over the back of Mertesacker. And Scorey equalized for the first time in the finals. We have an equalizer. And of course, it had to be in the grand final itself. Fantastic stuff. But Scorey scores the equalizer. Going in a half time. Brilliant stuff. And so the first half finished 1-1, the one more to go, and it was anyone to guess at the time who was going to take it home. Scorey looked good, Humpty looked good, nobody knew for sure. Scorey with all the time in the world, one of the most clinical guys I've ever played in FIFA, missed the shot, of course, it happens to the best of us. But uh, man, did you check out that Scorey rule? <laughs> Literally on the next chain of possession that Humpty had after Scurry missed that shot. He got it in a Royce, cross it in a closer. What a diving header that near post. 
Jump, ah, Jumpy, <laughs> Humpty jumps up. Wow, you can see how I messed that up. But he jumps up, and in the 50th minute, closer has put it in the back of the net. What a diving header! What a gr <coughs> what a cross! A beautiful stuff, and that diving header. Not even bloody. Ju uh, okay, for a second I thought he was no, but no. Julio Cesar couldn't get there. Two one, and back in the ascendancy, and that has got to stick in the psyche of Scory because he just missed a chance to put himself in front. Only a few seconds later, he's gone down himself. And approaching the end of the game, it went from a super even contest. After Scory missed that shot, it was almost all Humpty. Look, beautiful movement down the baseline. Gets past Thiago Silva Royce and passes it in a closer. So that's his hat trick. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is probably the game. He jumps up, he celebrates. I think he knows he's got it now. It's gonna make it's gonna be an absolute epic, you know what. For him to lose this game now or for him to take it to penalties but 3-1 up in the 88th minute and i think the game's in the bag humpty may have this one wrapped up but he was still fighting to get a fourth goal passing it around podolsky beautiful in a closer the shot blocked but it fell right to uzil and uzil gets himself some of the action and then the achievement unlocked what a hit son what a hit the 90th minute the fourth goal of the game and now it really is out of question no way back and that was it he won the championships $3,000 the prize, as well as the bragging rights of being the national FIFA 14 champion of Australia. Not too bad. And congratulations, Humpty. Very well deserved. Okay, I'm sitting here with the winner of the FIFA 14 national tournament. Of course, this is Humpty. And uh, first off, i got to say, I'm sorry that this microphone's a little less impressive. I'm not really rocking a multi-million dollar sort of budget here or anything. But uh, yeah, you won. Three grand. I think the check's over there. So how do you feel, man? You'd be pretty good. You'd be stoked. Yeah, I feel pretty excited. I was really hoping to win this this tournament because it's you know it's run by EA and there was a, quite a lot of hype yeah. built around this tournament. And um, I think having the first Mazza in the semis and Skuri in the final was just it was really fitting to yeah. you know beat them both and, and win the win the trophy. Yeah, because they were it was um, Matt obviously was a really good competitor as well. But like those two guys are pretty got a pretty big name for themselves. So you able to knock them off is obviously quite impressive now. You got to tell me the truth. Are you more impressed with the three grand or this kick-ass trophy? What were you really playing for? <laughs> when I saw the trophy, definitely the trophy. Like, come on, yeah, like look at it's that. huge, right? Yeah, it looks fantastic, man. So, um, I got to ask you, three thousand dollars. I mean, that's quite a fair bit of money. You got any plans for it, or just uh, taking it all in your stride at the moment? Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna like slowly spend it as time goes on, and yeah. I, I don't really have any real plans with it because I've got I'm at uni now full time, so yeah. right. just hopefully it can support me for as long as. It goes for, I guess. Yeah. And that was all she wrote. Humpty became the national FIFA 14 champion of Australia. So well done to him. And uh, that was it. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the national FIFA 14 championships at the EB Games Expo. And of course, um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description below. And yep, congratulations to Humpty. And uh, yeah, guys, hope you have a good one. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.